Oh, good morning, everybody over here. Well, I had to actually pop the tent up last night. Um, this is the one I was using. You guys know this tent already. I used it the other day with uh, with Mike. I actually physically did use it camping. I don't, I don't know really how else I would physically use it. That was kind of a strange thing to start that thing off with. But no, it was uh, it rained on us, so I wanted to let it air out. I didn't want it to get all moldy and stuff. I mean, this tent is not bad. I know I've had a little bit of issues with it, mainly just because of that, but I think that was kind of my fault. The ladder system they have on these things are just kind of wonky and weird, but we'll say this. If you guys did not know this, we did harvest another deer here in Oklahoma. Uh, we went to the season opener up there. I actually have not measured this at all. I'm not, I don't really think I'm going to, but I got all the meat already in there. I got them quartered out. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I, I like to let my meat um, age. I know I've said that a few times over on Lunkers TV. I like to let this meat just age for about four days or so and then take her in to get processed. And at the same time, I'll take this thing in and uh, I don't know, kind of get that thing done. I'm gonna get it fully mounted. That's a very, very wide. Uh, good, I think it's a good deer. It was, it aged really well. It was sitting around five, five and a half. So I was happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. So I'm gonna get this tent um, put back in so I can actually utilize my truck. Yeah, kind of need that thing for today. You know, I probably shouldn't put that down here now to think about it. He'll probably walk off with it. Stick it up here. Stick it right there. Yeah, I know. No, it's not a toy. It's not a toy. Well, I got this already set up. Like I said, I'm not a giant fan of this thing. The only thing that's the biggest issue with this is this. I think the cover is a pain in the pain in the butt. Giant pain in the butt to put back on. But other than that, it's really good. All right, Chick-fil-A time because I got like 10 minutes until they close. All right, close down for breakfast. Got to do something real quick. Avery was uh, saying that she wanted hamburgers. She loved, she just wanted hamburgers. I don't know what she would, just kept saying. I want hamburgers. I want hamburgers. So, uh, you know what we're going to do tonight? Keep frozen and frozen, keep frozen. Hamburger, brisket. You know, we're going to grab two of these. Not, not big enough. That's what she said. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Y'all want to know, like, what the, what the best thing about Chick-fil-A is? Seriously, sincerely? is they always have a giant American flag at all times. Chick-fil-A is like the only restaurant I know. Is there any other ones? No? I don't know, Chick-fil-A always has the biggest, biggest, biggest American flag at all times flying in front of their place. I mean, just look, let me see that, look at that. I mean, just look at that thing. How could you not want to eat at a restaurant that makes, makes their sandwiches with that big, beautiful flag? She had lost that. She was looking for it. It was a, a lock with a key. Oh. Okay. Like a Brinks lock. <laughs> okay, I had to come by Sarah's store real quick to kind of show you guys. Uh, if you guys come to her place, please do me a solid. If you have extra, extra, uh, what are these called? License plates? We're going to try to fill her walls up with license plates. Yeah, we got a couple old Texas ones in here. If you find somewhere that old, you're pretty much just a banger. What's that? One of my employees tried to nail one of them in there and she goes, there's something wrong with that wall. And I was like, yeah, it's cement. Oh, <laughs> did she really? Yeah, that's why there's holes in it. Oh. There's holes and she was like, it keeps crumbling. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, I was sitting up here for a little bit. I'm trying to, I got some stuff going on and I just hit me. Uh, Hector said he wanted to have like prank wars in a sense or something strange. I got, I got an idea. So my buddy's got a, he's got a G-Wagon and he's got a Ford Raptor. So I don't know which one he took to work. I just asked his wife. I'm not going to tell her why. Well, we're gonna grab some spray chalk and spray paint his G-Wagon. Hopefully it's his G-Wagon, that'd be awesome. You think she knows what his license plate is? Probably not, huh? No. I'll do my fair and bring him out. Washable chalk form is all new. Temporary, just spray and shake. Use on concrete, grass, asphalt, snow, sand, pavers, vinyl, siding, vinyl siding and glass. Knock around of use on freshly sealed asphalt. That's it, okay, that's easy. He's, he just has it removed within 24 hours, we're good. Okay, so this is uh, where Hector's office is at. It's kind of in the, the I guess you would call it one of the more expensive areas inside of North Dallas. So I am slightly worried that there's a chance the cops could be called from somebody thinking that I'm like literally spray painting his car. I did speak to his wife and he did for sure bring the G-Wagon. There's Matt Kendrick's car. Hold on a sec. This is, this is where we're gonna have some issues. Where did he park at? I think I parked with him once. I think he's on this, or like three or four stories up. And I do not, I do not want to park where he can see my truck. Damn dude, we gotta go inside this parking garage and find his car.
Okay, let's start on floor number three. We got six floors. Some of this is private parking, some of this is public, meaning he buys a parking spot. So I just remember I rode, it, I rode out of here one time with him. I just don't remember what level it was on. And it could be in the building next door too. There's two parking garages. But it also could be parked on this side of the building. I didn't even think about that. The best part about this is if I don't find his, Matt Kendrick truck's right there. He's not here. Damn it. Damn it, dude. He's at Wendy's right now. He's gonna be back over here in 15 minutes. Well, you can wait for him to drive it. I know, but I, but now he kind of knows I'm here. It almost would be like too obvious to that point. I should, I should do Matt Kendrick's and then have you sit here and we can just wait for him to come out those doors. That worked. <laughs> There's a lot of people down there. Imagine I'm just about to go spray paint this guy's truck. <laughs> should I do it? Yeah. Why not? We're gonna do it. Let me make sure it's this truck. I'm, I know it's this truck. Yeah, yeah we're good. That looks good. What else should we put on there? Oh, uh, Beto. Okay. Yeah. Beto on the back side. <laughs> Put hunk for Beto or something. What's that? <laughs> On this side. Someone's calling me. Detective. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Well, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here. I'm with uh, Matt's truck because yours isn't here. I mean, I'm spray painting Matt's truck right now because because you're not here. I was gonna I was gonna spray paint your G wagon, but he's getting it now. If you look up in the windows, everybody's washer now. You see it? Look up there. That's pretty fancy, right? Yeah. What else should we put? Oh, I didn't stay. Think the cops are gonna get called? Nah, we should be good. You don't think so? <laughs> nah, we should be good. Okay. I can't do his window because I don't stay on his window. I should probably change this to a pink one, huh? The color variation? Up here to wait, though. Which I don't know how long it'll be. <sighs> yep. What's up? What are you doing? Uh, about to grab some lunch. What are you doing? No, I'm just seeing what you had going on. I was going to ask you about um, uh, the, the flights for next week. Yeah, it's on your. Should be on your app. Oh, we already got them? Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, we leave Thursday afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry. This third. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you're, I'm losing you, buddy. Now, so. Are you guys going back? Evening of the 4th. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Alright. Oh, well, I'll, I'll see you soon. Doing? Well, nothing, just filming videos. Normal. I just want to make sure we had our flights. Yeah, yeah, I got flights. Okay, man. Cool. I'll see you. He's about to get lunch. <laughs> No idea why he's calling me. Hello. Really? What? I know one. I know you're at you're in Frisco. I've seen your truck. Two. I've now seen my truck. You seen my truck? How'd you see my truck? Where are you at? You're, you're parked at Firehouse Subs. <laughs> where are you at? Where, you, where am I at? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen you. What do you mean you haven't seen me? I have no idea where you're at. You, you sure found my uh, truck? Nope. Uh oh no? Nope. Uh huh. Okay. You just decided just somebody randomly just 
spread beta all over my truck? Yep. Uh, I'm guessing in Hector's. Yeah, we're, I, yeah. Okay. What else you got going on? You got, I mean, you got some extra spray paint left over? Why, what's going on? <laughs> so you did spray it? No, I'm just asking what, what we have going on. Where are you at? I'm parking right now. You're parking? Uh-huh. Well, that's strange. Why is that strange? Oh, nothing. Okay. Bye, right, man. See ya. That means he's probably gonna come up here. <laughs> Cause he's, damn it, he went with somebody else. What? He went with them to go eat, the guys up there. He's got in their car. I parked my car way over there on purpose. But he also thinks I'm with Hector still, so. He still has to come look at it, which he's going to. Talk about a fail. Damn it. That's it, he's with our CFO right now, so I guess I should go say hello, at least. Probably should spray paint the CFO's car. <laughs> see, the, the problem with my truck is it has a big yellow fuel tank on the side of it. You can see it from a mile away. I didn't even, I'm an idiot. Go pick up some snacks up there, because I'm hungry as well. I waited forever. Why? Because I, I, you said you were going to lunch. And then I went and helped him pick out some wine for his Thanksgiving. I was bullshit. You didn't go to lunch. I did go to lunch. Yeah, not in your truck. We sat by your truck the entire time and just waited. For, for me to go to lunch? Yeah, just for you to walk outside and see it. I was already going. Do you have any snacks in here for some hungry? <laughs> Is there any candy? Yeah, come on. Now I have to go clean that box. Like, at least you didn't spray it on, you sprayed it on one window, but. No, I know, the windows didn't stick. It's his vote for Hillary on the other side, too. I know, I saw it. I saw it. It was supposed to be Hector, but you, you, he wasn't here. What do you mean it's supposed to be Hector? It was supposed to be his car. His you were going to do the G-Wagon? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I couldn't, because it was at... I, I texted him, he's like, yeah, I'm at Wendy's, I'll be back. You know, I didn't want to tell him what I was doing here. Well, that kind of sucks. That entire time we were just sitting there waiting because he said he was going to lunch, but he actually went to lunch in somebody else's car. But he still has to ride around with that stuff all over his car, so that's that still works. I love Matt, he's so funny. Oh, tomato. You can read it pretty good. Well, I kind of made a slight mistake. I thought that this might have defrosted a little bit more inside of the fridge. I'm sorry, Avery, it didn't. Oh, I know, it's a crazy day, but... Come to find out, all she really wants to eat are the hamburger buns themselves. She doesn't really want to eat the meat. So I'm gonna have to throw that back in the freezer. I think we're just gonna have to pull out some HelloFresh because I think that's pretty much, that's gonna be the deal. It's already a little after six. I kind of messed up Avery, I'm sorry. I could tell she's a little tired. Are you a little tired? No? Of course, of course, you're not tired. You're four, you know you're not tired. I'm a little tired. You're not tired? No? You wanna, you? I'm thinking. Oh, you're thinking? Oh, okay. I'm thinking about a class. I don't know what she's talking about. I'll see you guys there in a second. So you guys probably won't believe this, but I forgot to close out this video over here on the road. I do apologize. I'm actually about to start another one. I got something cooking that's going to be really, really nice and spicy. A really weird terminology, but you know what, guys? I'm going to hop off here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on The Real Americans. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe. If you're, if you're not going to subscribe, you're crazy, but I do love you guys. And make sure to do us all a favor. Stay true to the Red Eye Blue because you guys know that son of a gun right there is one of the most beautiful pieces of cloth in this on this, on this planet, so. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I, uh...